This is a, uh, a really tough meet. We, uh, we're always skeptical of it because you've got to be one of the top 12 out of the 48 in each event that comes. But, you know, we've just got to do what we've been doing. Uh, our top people need to go and just do their job, and I think we'll be fine. Has there been any push among coaches to uh, eliminate this? There are many coaches that would love to eliminate this meet. Uh, we feel like most of the time it just eliminates one of the best kids in the country because they'll either have a bad day or, or might have a slight injury, whereas if they were qualified already, then they could rest and be ready to go in two weeks. But it's the nature, uh, big push with head to head. That's what they want this to be, kind of like a, a tournament or something. And so. Uh, uh, it is what it is, but there's a group right now trying to push to eliminate this, and it's been going on for years. I assume you're part. Are you part of that group? <laughs> I am a part of that group. So uh, me and several coaches. But uh, you know, you've got uh, a cabinet. It's the NCAA cabinet that kind of been overruling us uh, a lot lately. Is everyone completely healthy? We're pretty good shape. Uh, you know, Charles Brown had a little slight uh, calf strain at the conference meet. We didn't triple jump him or run him on the four by one. He's he's looked great all week. And so, uh, and Werner's neck's held up uh, fine, so we're gonna, he's gonna be ready for the javelin. And uh, uh, I think we're as healthy as we've been all year. So that's, that's a big deal at this meet. Yeah, and kind of as you get, it's late season, do you really change preparation at all, really? You can't, I, and I tell the kids, that it's race and recover almost at this point. I mean, we had a hard Big 12, you go three, four races, and you take three or four days off, and we let them recover. And we came back and took finals for two days. And then so we didn't see them until Wednesday. And then we've just done a couple of quality workouts. And we did one today, and then we'll pretty much travel, rest them up, and go. Sweeping the conference titles, maybe, sorry if this question is kind of shows a lack of, of knowledge when it comes to maybe a difference between indoor and outdoor. Is that a commonplace thing that you've seen teams be able to do, or is there such an adjustment between coming from indoor to outdoor track? I think. Uh, the question is more of how your team is built. And uh, when I was hired, uh, Gerald Myers wanted an outdoor team. And so uh, you have more events. You have the discus, the javelin, the four by one. You have different, a bunch of different events uh, uh, that you don't have indoors. Indoors is a lot of distance running. It was made for the northern schools in the winter time to uh, be able to run. And they added more distance races than sprints because just of how cold it is, the sprinters could never practice. So uh, normally, that the distance running teams favor better. But uh, we're built pretty good all around this time. And uh, I, I felt like it was the best overall team we've had. But our quality was just so good, even in the other events, that it kind of overdid our distance weakness. I know it's very much a, you gotta be in the top 12. Who are your, we'll say 10 to 14 range athletes that could work their way in or have to be watching, really watching over their shoulder this week? You know, uh, I don't even want to start mentioning names because anything can happen. I just had a team meeting and I told them anything can happen this week. I've seen the number one kids not get out and I've seen uh, number 45 get out. Uh, it is literally, you get three throws in the shot, three throws in the discus, three throws in the javelin. I mean, if you're off, if it's raining, if it's you know windy, uh, it'll affect different people in different ways. And you just got to be ready to go and, and don't count yourself out because anything can happen. People will drop the stick in the four by one. Uh, it, it, hopefully it's not us, you know, and there's just people run out of their lanes and things like that at this meet. So uh, it's a really high pressured meet. You don't go to nationals if you don't get out and a lot of kids have a hard time with it. With the experience, is this a mentally strong team? Or will you find that out when, you, when it comes to the meet? I'm real confident there. I mean, we went into Big 12 and, and, you know, going into Saturday, Texas has a 30 or 40 point lead. And here we came Sunday, came a roaring. And uh, it was just winning after winning after winning. And then, uh, you know, nearly winning by 50 points. So our kids have been down a little bit and then been able to persevere. And I think this group is, it's a seasoned group. They've been in this situation before. Uh, I'm not too worried about that at all. You see uh, throwers in this meet sometimes try to make a quote safe throw first just to make sure you don't foul three times and be done no you're exactly right you know some of the very best throwers will will try to back off just to be safe and then they stay on their foot too long and they throw it out of bounds and then they're like panicking the next throw and they try to make up for it and mess up uh, you just try to stay relaxed go in there the first round the first throw and just you know go goes like you have all year long uh, I keep saying that but 
kids always change their run up. They change the speed of the throw. They change what they're trying to do, and they don't need to do that a lot of times in this meet. Just uh, like I say, you got here doing it the way you did it. So don't change and try to reinvent the wheel. As a coach, is it tough on you? Is this meet the toughest on you mentally? Yeah, I think this is the toughest meet for me, period, because I don't know who's going to get out. And, you know, and we've got some really good kids that we want to make sure we get out and we get out healthy uh, to make sure we can make it to Eugene, you know, in, in two weeks. So uh, it, it's probably the, the toughest meet on me all year. I love winning the Big 12, and I'm always nervous about that. But uh, now we're at another level now, so uh, we got to get things right.